Our first concept we refer to as simple. We refer to this as simple because you have all of the beads you need to complete the addition or subtraction requested in your problem. This concept will be used when we are moving beads one through nine on the ones column. The concept of simple is used anytime there are enough beads for us to move and it is the first concept we refer to when we, when we are looking at our problem. We will start by learning how to identify the numbers 1 through 4, and we will begin on our McDonald point. Hold on to your abacus with your left hand on the left side, and use your right finger to move the beads. Here we go. For plus 1, when we're adding one bead, we're going to say plus 1 thumb up and move one bead to the beam. For plus 2, we say plus 2 thumb up and move two beads to the beam. We do this as we move through all four beads. To subtract them, we move them away from the beam. So for example, we say minus one finger down and use the index finger, minus one finger down. Same with minus two, move two beads away from the beam and say minus two finger down and so on. Minus three finger down, minus four finger down. We must have enough beads touching the beam to be able to subtract. This is called simple. So, let's try it. Plus one, thumb up. Minus one, finger down. Plus two, thumb up. Minus two, finger down. Plus three, thumb up. Minus three, finger down. Plus four, thumb up, minus four, finger down. Okay, let's complete some sample problems before learning about the upper beat. Our first example is plus four, minus three, plus two, plus one. Ready? Try it. Plus four, thumb up, minus three, finger down, plus two, thumb up, plus one, thumb up. Answer? Question number two. Plus three, plus one, minus two, plus two. Ready? Plus three, thumb up. Plus one, thumb up. Minus two, finger down, plus two, thumb up. Answer? Question number three. Plus four minus three plus two plus one. Plus four, thumb up, minus three, finger down, plus two, thumb up, plus one, thumb up. Final question, plus three plus one minus two plus one. Ready? Plus three, thumb up, plus one, thumb up, minus two, finger down, plus one, thumb up. Answer? How did you do? Okay, so let's go ahead and we will move on to the next segment. Now, let's learn about simple plus five and minus five. This is simply learning how to move the upper bead on the ones column on your McDonald point. Our upper bead has a value of five. When we add five, we're going to move it to the beam, and when we subtract five, we move it away from the beam, and we use our index finger to do both. Pause the DVD and practice. Make sure you use your index finger to move it to the beam plus five, minus five, moving it away from the beam. Now, let's learn simple six through nine. We move beads to and from the beam together depending on the number. We use the lower beads, one through four, and the upper bead, the five. This is what we will say. Say it with me as it flashes on your screen. 
plus six pull together at the same time, plus seven pull together at the same time, plus eight pull together at the same time, plus nine pull together at the same time. Okay, we've gone over the formulas on the screen. Now let's go ahead and say them again as we move our beads on the abacus. So, when we have enough beads to use simple for number six through nine, we pull the beads together as we say the number. We say this until we really get it down. Let's move the beads. Ready? Plus six, pull together at the same time. Plus seven, pull together at the same time. Plus eight, pull together at the same time. Plus nine, pull together at the same time. Once your brain does this without thinking, you can still say it in your head and you no longer need to say it out loud. And as you speed up, you will not be able to say it fast enough, but while you're learning it, make sure you say these out loud and coordinate the movement so your brain will remember these quicker. Let's pause the DVD and practice. Let's learn to subtract simple six through nine. Here's what we say. As you see it on the screen, say it with me. Ready? Minus six, push apart at the same time. Minus seven, push apart at the same time. Minus eight, push apart at the same time. Minus nine, push apart at the same time. Now let's take a look at moving the beads. Okay, here is how we actually move the beads for minus six, minus seven, minus eight, and minus nine simple. Everybody ready? Minus six, push apart at the same time. Minus seven, push apart at the same time. Minus eight, push apart at the same time. Minus nine, push apart at the same time. Pause the DVD and practice the speed movement. Okay, let's practice some sample problems. Follow along as I show them on my abacus. Say the formulas for the movement of the beads. This will help you memorize movements. First problem, plus eight, minus three, plus two, plus one. Ready? Plus eight, pull together at the same time. Minus three, finger down. Plus two, thumb up. Plus one, thumb up. Answer? Number two, plus seven, minus two, plus three, plus one. Ready? Plus seven, pull together at the same time. Minus two, finger down. Plus three, thumb up. Plus one, thumb up. Answer? Next question, plus five, plus two, minus five, plus two. Ready? Plus five, finger down. Plus two, thumb up. Minus five, finger up. Plus two, thumb up. Answer? Next question. Plus seven, plus two, minus three, plus two. Ready? Plus seven, pull together at the same time. Plus two, thumb up. Minus three, finger down. Plus two, thumb up. Answer? Next question, plus five, plus four, minus six, plus one. Ready? Plus five, finger down. Plus four, thumb up. Minus six, push apart at the same time. Plus one, thumb up. Answer? Next question, plus four, plus five, minus eight, plus six. Ready? Plus four, thumb up, plus five, finger down, minus eight, 
push apart at the same time. Plus six, pull together at the same time. Answer? Now, we have all of the beads we needed to complete the equations, so these are all problems using simple. It is really important to make sure you complete the entire movement. For example, when you're calculating one plus six, make sure you move both the five and the one to the bead. Don't let your mind fool you and forget to add one and then add six. Congratulations, you now know simple on the abacus. Practice and then you'll be ready for lesson two. Mm -hmm.